Good morning, my friends. Coach Sogo here. I'm bringing you another total body workout, but today we're going to focus mostly on dumbbell work for uh, chest and triceps. We're also going to get a little bit of cardio and some abs to finish it out. So if you have some dumbbells today, we're going to need um, everything for chest press, hex press, uh, tricep extension. So be thinking about uh, what weights you've got. If you don't have weights, and you wanna use water bottles in your hand, like the 16.9 ounce, or um, a couple of things, you could probably use uh, water jugs as an option, okay? You will need a mat as well. Um, so to get started with our Tabata warm up, we're gonna have four exercises for 30 seconds each, 10 seconds rest in between, two times through, starting with running jack. So you're just gonna run your feet and jack your arms for 30 seconds, next up. Right foot forward, left foot back, dropping into your lunge, coming out of the bottom and driving your knee forward. Lunge to knee drive. If you want that little hop in there, you can go ahead and get that as well. Then switching sides, next 30 seconds. Left foot forward, right foot back, dropping into your lunge, driving your knee. If you want a little bit more, catch that hop at the top. All right, and then our last one, going down to your full plank. Driving your palms into the floor, reaching forward, making sure you're pulling that belly button in tight to your spine the whole time. All right, next up, we're going into block one. This is a superset, meaning very little rest between exercises. When you get through these two exercises, take a 30 second rest and go right back to the top. And we're gonna repeat this block three times. So you are gonna take a set of weights with you to your mat for chest fly and hex press. So I'm gonna do 10 pound weights for your chest for the chest fly on the mat. And I'm also doing uh, 15 pound weights for hex press from the mat as well. Both of these are gonna be down on the ground. So make sure your weights are close by you as you make your way down. All right, chest fly. We're gonna keep our back on the floor the whole time. All right, start with your weights up. So really making sure you're nice and solid on that mat. We're going one, two, one, two, slightly bent elbow at the bottom, squeezing on those pecs to come back to the top. Next, grab your other set of weights. Nice and quick, back to the mat. We're starting from the bottom, push your weights together. Press from the bottom to the top. One, two, one, two. All right, getting 10 reps of both of those. When you get through those hex press, rest for 30 seconds, then go right back through your chest fly and hex press. All right, so after block one, take about a minute to rest. We're going into block two. Again, superset chest press and tricep extension. So I'm gonna start with my 15s first and then drop to my 10s. All right, on the chest press, we're gonna spin them so we can drop into that elbow tap on the floor. One, two, stretch on those pecs. One, two, squeeze, going back up. Again, 10 reps. And we're going into tricep extension from our lying position. All right, I like to put the ends of my hands on the black part of the weights. Elbows stay pointed to the ceiling. We're bringing those weights to the shoulders, pressing back to the top. One, two, one, two, time under tension. Only thing moving is we're hinging at the elbows, but keeping the elbows pointing straight up for 10 on the tricep extension. All right, minimal rest in between. 30 seconds after you get that superset done, go back to the top and repeat three times through that block. Block three, our last superset. We're gonna have a hollow hold, close grip, chest press, as well as tricep push-ups. So you're only gonna need one weight for this block. I'm gonna spin my mat a little bit so you can see me in the hollow hold. All right, so we're gonna make ourselves like a banana. All right, head is up, feet are up, elbow stays close to the rib cage as we press nice and close for 10. On the right, then switch sides and press 10 on the left side. And then we're gonna flip right on over into our tricep push-up. No rest in between. Our hands stay pretty narrow, making sure your chin is up over underneath your thumbnails. We're gonna keep those elbows locked in close as we drop in, 
and drive. So really putting the pressure on that tricep in that push up. All right, if you need to go to knees, you can do that. Just keeping it close. So it's not a, a wide uh, push up this time. We're staying narrow, really engaging those triceps. 10 on the push ups. All right, three times through. You can have about a 15 second rest. I mean, sorry, a 30 second rest before you go back to the top and repeat that block three times. All right, after you've got all the weight, the weight block done for triceps and chest, we're going into a cardio block. So this is a Tabata, 30 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest, three times through. And we've got two exercises. Number one, mountain climber, palms into the floor, driving those knees, keeping your knees only a couple inches off the floor, and your back nice and flat, so no hunched up butts in the air, all right, keeping it low for your mountain climber. You can go fast, or you can do a slower knee drive as an option. And then our star jump, all right? So starting with your hands in front of your quads, we're gonna drop in and come out into your star, all right? If you're not jumping today, you can take one side up and then the other. Three times through that Tabata, 30 seconds on, 15 seconds of rest. So that would be six intervals, all right? And then our core block to finish us out. Once again, three times through, we are gonna need a dumbbell for both of these. So I'm gonna grab a 15. We're gonna do a pike to toe reach and then a Russian twist. So we start with the weight over your head. We're gonna keep our back to the floor. Once we're here in the pike, we're gonna reach for the toes. Keeping your back tight to the floor the whole time. Back to the pike, reach for the toes. Open all the way up, pike, reach for the toes. 30 seconds there, Russian twist. Cross your ankles, rotate, taking your eyes and your torso with you. It doesn't have to be quick, slow and controlled. Getting that good oblique rotation with each rep. That could also be done with body weight as an option. Both of those could be done with body weight, actually. All right, so 30 seconds of rest, 15, 30 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest, three times through those two exercises, and that will complete your workout for today. Your champions, sweaty selfies, love you.